Santi, you got us? Yep, I got you. Perfect. We'll start first with Drew Hill. Santi, so what was it like to finally get out there um, on the court in an NBA game? And also, um, what kind of relationship have you built with Zaire already as, you know, the two draft picks this year? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it was great to get out there, be with the guys, just whole new world. And with Zaire, I mean, he's, he's a great kid. He, he's just trying to help me out. I'm trying to help him out, you know. We're both, we're both rookies. Everybody's helping us, to be honest. Like, it's just been a great experience for us. But like we're both rookies, so we got our back. So, so yeah, he's a great kid, and you know, just looking forward for this rookie year with him. Claire, hey, um, considering your pre-draft process, you didn't work out with too many teams ahead of time. Can you describe kind of what your communication with the Grizzlies was like before the draft? What those conversations looked like? Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I left it all in hands of my agency, of course. Uh, I had a great uh, sophomore year in college. I trusted that. I trusted uh, that everybody saw that. So I just went back home, tried to work on my game, focus on what I had to improve. And I'm still focusing on that. So yeah, I mean, I, I just went, uh, I was just waiting to see what the draft held. So, you know, I, I know I landed in a great spot with uh, history, uh, from the Gasol brothers. So I know they treat Spanish people right here and they've both had great careers here. So I'm looking forward to it, definitely. Evan Barnes. Santi, kind of going on that. I mean, um, did you watch a lot of the, the Gasols and Grizzlies when you were in Spain? Because obviously those are your countrymen. So did they kind of inspire your game a little bit being much of a shooter and inside guy? Can you say that again? I, I couldn't hear you. Sure, can you hear me? Can you hear me better? Yep. Okay, so you mentioned being a fan of the Gasols and the Grizzlies history with, with uh, those guys. Were, how much of a fan were you of them growing up and how much did they kind of inspire your game? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, they, they, they're legends in Spain. Uh, I didn't get to watch Pau uh, on the Grizzlies uh, just because I was young. And, of course, in Spain, uh, the games are very late. I got to watch Mark a little bit more, but I've always watched them uh, play with the national team and just watching them play has been you know, an unbelievable experience. And I'm so sad that they're just not going to play with the national team anymore. And yeah, I mean, just growing up, just watching them, trying to learn uh, how they played. Uh, they're, I mean, they're great at everything. So just trying to uh, mirror what they do, uh, try to uh, copy their moves, uh, their style of plays has definitely helped me as a player. Isaac? Hey, Santi. Um, I spoke with Ivo Samovic, who was one of your coaches at Loyola, Maryland, and a guy who seems to be a, a part of your inner circle. He really emphasized the type of person and, and player that we were getting here in Memphis. Uh, can I talk about your, your relationship with Evo? And also, he said that he was in Spain with, with you and your family on draft night. Can I talk about that moment when you got the call from the Memphis Grizzlies that they were drafting you? Yeah, so, I mean, my relationship with Evo goes way back. Uh, uh, I met him when I was 12, uh, so, and we kept in touch. So when I had to make a decision on whether I wanted to stay in Spain, be a pro or go to college, uh, I spoke with him. He told me, listen, come over, just uh, visit, and then you can decide. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to do or what to not do. So I just visited, spoke with him, spoke with Coach Hardy, too. Uh, so I decided I wanted to go to college and go wherever he was. And, of course, we had two great years, and here we are. And just having him by my side uh, on draft night, having also uh, Coach Hardy, you know, it was it was great, and it was uh, I was really happy to have them by my side, of course, and especially Coach Ivo, just because the relationship goes way back. He's always trusted me, pushed me, uh, has helped me become who I am too. So, so yeah, it was definitely a, a heartwarming moment. Time for one more, Mike Wallace. Yes, Santi. Did you did you ever have a chance to to interact and talk much with uh, with the Gasol brothers about Memphis or, or about the NBA? And secondly, how much of an adjustment is it to uh, the speed of the game in summer league and what you've seen this week, uh, maybe versus what you played against uh, coming out of college? Yeah, no, I haven't had the chance to speak with the Gasol brothers about Memphis or anything. I hope I have the chance soon. 
And yeah, I mean, summer league uh, basketball is really fast, different from what I'm used to. I'm still learning. You know, it's a learning process. I think it's, it's going to be uh, very good just to play some games here and get used to the NBA world, which is, of course, a little bit different from college. But yeah, I mean, it, it's been good. Uh, I have to take it step by step. Uh, the staff has been great with me, just helping me out. And, and you know, we, we have to have patience and, and get ready for, for what is coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We will see you next time.